Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. Nick is definitely the leader of the group. I mean, we all have our leading aspects in different ways, but for sure, Nick will probably be the president one day. He's very talented, very smart. He really steps up to the plate. He's the one that stays on stage the most. It's cool. I, I like that role. Hopefully one day I vote uh, him for president. Being commander in chief of this band is great, but the best part is that I'm in this with my brothers, and I can count on them during the good and even the bad times. I um, released um, the news that I have diabetes. Um, last year. When Nick was diagnosed with diabetes, it shook us a little bit. In the beginning, it was a little tough for all of us because we were trying to understand it. And for me, it's sometimes, I know how tough it is can be for him, you know. I can't even comprehend it, how it'd be so hard for him to live with it every day. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, which means that my body doesn't produce the hormone insulin that's needed to convert sugar, starches, and other foods into energy. So to keep my body healthy on tour, I have to manage my sugar intake. Yes, check my blood sugar, make sure it's all good before I go eat. Yeah, having diabetes on the road at times gets a little hard, especially right before I go on stage if I have a low or high blood sugar. It's kind of kind of annoying. But um, for the most part, I manage it pretty well. Is blood sugar higher than it should be? Well, one seven is ideal. Right, it's ideal for him. We were out earlier, he was over 400. He could tell. OK, you weren't very pleasant. No, it wasn't the same. I kind of just have to make sure that I take enough insulin for everything I eat. I keep track of my sugar levels by monitoring my carb intake. And I have to wear this pod because it delivers insulin into my bloodstream. It looks complicated, but it's not that bad. It's just a part of my daily routine. And since diabetes has become such a big part of my life, I'm always looking for ways to inspire and help other kids who are also living with diabetes. He's got diabetes, and it's good to look up to him. So. It'll be all right, OK? A Little Bit Longer is a song that I actually wrote one night about my diabetes. And it's about how no one can really ever relate to the way that you feel. And you know, some people say, oh, I understand how you're feeling, but it's like, no one really ever understands. And I think that's one thing that people really relate with that song, because like, you can sort of understand, but it's, it's only them who's really going through it. You know, when I say, uh, you know, how many of you guys have gone through a hard time in your life and the lights go up and you see all the hands up and everybody, and it's kind of just that moment where it's like, well, I'm here for you, you're here for me, let's sing. And it's, it's a nice thing and it's cool. It's kind of hard when you go through something like this. And uh, when I first got diagnosed, it was a little tough. But um, the day after I got out of the hospital, I was playing a show. So it really didn't slow me down in any way, and it's not going to. Yeah.